So, a few months ago I saw a video from Star Lamour. She is a really good YouTuber who talks about Etsy a lot. And I've been following her for a while now. And just before Black Friday she released a video where she talks about her tips for preparing for Black Friday. Her last tip in that video was the double dip method. And if you don't know what that is, then it means that you set up a promotion in your Etsy shop, you create a sale but you use the site uh, Etsy on sale for that and you also create a coupon code that you will email to your email list. Of course this technique is more advanced and it requires you to have an email list of uh, people who signed up for that email list. How can you get people to sign up to your email list? Well there are multiple methods. You can ask people who bought from you or you can just simply include a lead magnet into your listings. Well, a lead magnet is a fancy word for a freebie. In the editable template shop I use a lead magnet and I try to gather email addresses, but I started kind of late. I started it in late September and now in December I have around 100 uh, people signed up to that email list. And during Black Friday I promoted the sale. I had a 25% sale going on. And now in hindsight I should have uh, created a bigger sale of 40% or something like that. But now it is over and I cannot do anything about it. So note for myself for next year, make a bigger discount for Black Friday. But where is this double dip method and what is it? Is that you run the basic sale in your Etsy shop through the site uh, Etsy on sale. Because on Etsy you cannot stack discounts. And you send this exclusive coupon code to your email list. They know that they are special because only they get this code and they can stack it this way. Because if you create a sale in the Etsy platform and not on the site Etsy on sale, these discounts will not be stackable. Well, I did just that. I created an account with Etsy on sale and I created an exclusive coupon code. And I emailed the list about five times before and during Black Friday. I believe I sent one email just right before Black Friday started and the sale on Etsy went from the 18th of November until Cyber Monday or the Tuesday after Cyber Monday, I cannot remember. So it was 10 days I believe. So I sent out four emails uh, during that period one at the beginning when the sale started, one in the middle, one email I sent three days before the sale ended and I sent another email on Cyber Monday. So I sent a total of five emails to this list. And I will show you a few examples of the emails that I sent. So here we are in my ConvertKit account. I use ConvertKit for email marketing and I really like it. So I will show you some of the emails that I sent. We are going to go under the send button and to broadcasts. Oh, but first, let me show you how many people I have on that list. These are the signups to my email list uh, in the last month. Let's show it in weeks. So these are the weeks and I have a total of 210 subscribers, but these are for two different businesses that I have in under one account. This is the freebie that I offer. It has 10 free templates and at the moment we have 76 subscribers here. I had around 60 or 50 in November, I think. Okay, let's see the uh, emails that I sent. As you can see, this is the email. Uh, it says Cyber Monday 40% off coupon. I sent it to 65 people, 33% of these people opened their email, which is a really good open rate, and 1.5% clicked on my link, which is not that good. But keep in mind, this is the last email that I sent, and uh, they saw the promotion before that, if they... So yes, I sent those kinds of emails throughout Black Friday. And what were the results? Well, as I hinted it in one of my previous videos, uh, the results were subpar. It did not work out for me because people didn't use this coupon at all. As you can see it right here, no one used this 40% off coupon code. I do not know why this method did not work for me. I will try it again next year maybe if I have more people on my email list and I will be more organized regarding email marketing. Then uh, I think that this could be a really good strategy. Just it didn't work out for me. 
it was really easy and very intuitive to create these emails in ConvertKit. If you're interested in trying it out for free, up to 300 subscribers, you can use it for free. You don't have to pay anything. And if you would like to try it, uh, the link is down in the description below and I would really appreciate if you would use my link to try out ConvertKit. So unless you have a very big and a very busy uh, business, you can expect to use ConvertKit for free for quite some time. And I love email marketing because it is working very well in uh, other businesses that I work with. Email marketing is a really good and a very important tool in a business's toolbox and you should not underestimate the power of email marketing. Now, please tell me in the comments down below if you ever tried out this double dip method and how were the results for you. As I mentioned, the results were kind of a flop for me, but I would like to hear from you if you had success with it. So please leave a comment down below if you ever tried this method or if you are using email marketing in your Etsy business. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you liked this video and if you found it helpful or entertaining, hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will never miss another video in which I talk about digital products, making money online, making money on Etsy and more digital products. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!